seems to have just sort of retained its popularity over because it's just over a century and a quarter now. Mm. That's that's absolutely crackers. It's been going for so long. It's still really busy, isn't it? Have there been any times when they've been sort of, I suppose you describe them as fallow years, you know, when it's been sort of less popular? Well, I think I don't think there's been any fallow years because we've the festival started way back in 1892 as a one day festival. Um, and up until I think the 80s, we were on six days. And since then, we're on nine days and nights. And when we say nine days and nights, we mean we start at nine in the morning and sometimes we're not home until midnight that night. Oh, my it's, word. It's quite um, a phenomenal achievement for it to be run by volunteers. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes too, when you say fallow, certain there are trends. Certain things are popular at certain times. Mm. Um, you know, perhaps the classical singing is slightly, you know, dipped and is less popular. But the pop song, the musical theatre, and obviously we've got the battle of the rock bands now. Yes. Other things come into fashion. So it, it, it's a constant, really. Yeah, I guess we we would also should mention the dance classes because they Mm -hmm. were out for a long time. We just had um, Manx dancing and that was every year, but we didn't have any ballet or modern until about three years ago when we reintroduced them. And the competitors for those classes, it's trebled in three years. Oh, so it's word. fantastic. Mm. There is something for everyone, isn't there? Absolutely everybody. So, so at the end of the day, if Stu Peters and Stalking Heads don't win in the rock competition, they could always <laughs> go into ballet. They could yeah. easily do ballet. <laughs> yeah. 